What's going on? My name is Sid, and here we are with the Jaguar Coupe Champion Edition. Now, obviously, I haven't done a video on this thing just yet. Well, because, because this is the video on the thing. But also, there's a guide that I have of unlocking it. But this thing is... I, I kind of like it. See, people aren't sure about it. Because the image for it was the DB5? The DB5 was in the actual thumbnail for this thing. But... In fact, we got the Jaguar Champion Edition with this interesting style where it's it's a bit damaged. It's got tape on it and it's got these like metal wires holding down the hood. Now, you may not know what that is for, where it's from, why it's here, who care, whatever, whatever. But I'm here to tell you. Here is the Crew 2's tweet. Of course, it is the Jaguar E-Type Series 1 Coupe. But not only that, but this thing is actually based on Jaguar, Lightweight, E-Type, etc, etc, Le Mans. And as you can see, it's got the exact same weather damage. It's got the dents there. It's got the uh, metal wires as well as the tape. It is honestly this exact car. And this is a replica of the car, I believe, or something for £15,000. Yes, a 1 to 8 scale. But this is the vehicle it's based on. Obviously, some things are fairly different, like the, the, the front splitter and whatnot. But everything else is very, very similar. Even to the, the circular numbers being on the car. It's got, yeah, like, come on. That is the exact car that we're looking at there. Obviously, colour scheme-wise, it's not, it's not amazingly close, but... You know, I assume it's a different version of the Jag Le Mans car. But instead, we're going to be going into it today, customizing it, taking it into a race, seeing how it fares, and uh, getting a good feel for this thing. Because obviously, as I said, it was owned by some racing pilot. So, I mean, I'm sure it's going to be pretty good. And while we're here, I do just want to remind you, head down there, subscribe with notifications on. You may not even know you're not subscribed. Check, you know, leave a like while you're there. And honestly, the best thing you could do is just... Check out some of the other content while well, you're here, you know, decide if you want to subscribe. And leave in the comment section below whether you prefer these kind of edition versions of cars coming out, or you prefer the base models, like we got the 550, a new model, or do you prefer this, a champion edition of an old model? Which ones you prefer? Let's go back into it. I wonder what liveries we actually have for this thing, because I don't know if the- Ooh, that looks kind of nice. Is there any more official? No, okay. That looks kind of nice. Oh, it's got the... Yeah, okay. I think I saw exactly what this is going for when I was searching up uh, different cars. Oh, okay. It seems someone had the exact same idea as me. And yes, this is the car I was referring to. Oh, I kind of want to go with this now. Because I've been I've been saying for so long that I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it is, it is this. It is the Le Mans. Oh, I like the, the, I like the fake bolts on that one. But yeah, this is the Le Mans version of the Jaguar. They, they, this one has like a blue and red stripe, which is interesting. But I'm fairly certain the one I saw had only just the, uh, it's an interesting choice. Just had one like actual proper stripe. Oh, but I might go with this one. I kind of more prefer the color scheme of this one. I, I like the color scheme and I think I can do more with the color scheme. Like stuff like that. Those tires I'm going to hold. I don't know if they're the best. But I don't know if I have any subtle dark greens. We've got these, but... Those are not the kind of green we're looking for here. Yeah. I do have, uh, not these. I do have these, which I don't mind as racing tires every now and then. But I don't think I'm going to go with them. This is nowhere near the right green. Ooh. Of course, there is uh, greens that I can go with that are a bit more, you know, on the on the side. There's these. The, oh, neons. Neons are so tacky now. Oh, I wish they weren't. I wish my brain could still look at neons and see good tires. But I look at neons now and they are just like, they're just not what they used to be. <laughs> Do we have a cool yellow smoke? Like a cool yellow smoke. We've got lightning, obviously. I may go with lightning. I think smokes, I still go with cool smokes. Maybe dynamic shockwave because Le Mans. You know, yeah, you know, dynamic shockwave. We'll go with that. Sm Nitro, I think I have a cool yellow. I remember using some cool yellow nitros. Um, I, I guess we don't. You know what? It's either yellow prismatic, but I think I'm going to go with retro gaming. I kind of like retro gaming, but because it's an old car, I kind of want to go with fire. 
because I've done that for older cars. Okay, we'll go fire and then we'll see. We will see. I don't want to go with an underglow per se because I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not that much of a ricer, boys. I'm, I'm a ricer, but I'm not that much of a ricer. I think we'll go with victory horn because obviously victory. You know, it's, it's, it's at Le Mans, whatever, whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't need to explain myself to you. Okay, what are we? What are we? There's the gold. There's there's the there's the plane. The plane is so cool. Uh, there is a bunch of other stuff, but we're gonna stick with no topper. And instead, this is our Jag. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. You know what? I'm really glad someone made the, uh, is that the boosted? Why is the bender on this? <laughs> yeah, I'm really glad someone made the delivery of the version, like literally the exact version I kept showing everyone. So, you know, there you go. So now let's take this thing into a race. I'm liking the, uh, the dynamic shockwave. I don't know if it comes across on YouTube, but uh, it's got the like aerodynamic feel to it, and I'm liking it. Obviously, it's got even uh, the even faster aerodynamic stuff when we're at speed. But oh, this thing looks good in this lighting as well. Okay, let's see the nitro. That's what I'm not sure on. Um, you can barely see it from this angle. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's okay, I guess. It's nothing special, I guess. Oh, turn, please. Okay. Wow, that does not like turning. I need to pro-setting these things. This thing and the, uh, the, okay. This thing and the other motor pass cars, I really need to pro-setting. I still haven't. I really like where the exhaust is, actually, to be honest. I actually do think the nitro looks fine. I, I, I like where that exhaust is uh, compared to the nitro. Yeah, sweet. Is there a cover on one exhaust and not on the other? I think there is. Let's see how the tires are looking. Yeah, the tires are fine. I think I I'm okay with how the tires... Okay, there's a turn there. Maybe this is just a bad car. This... Where is it going? Maybe this is just a bad car. But I think some pro settings would help. I love how it comes damaged. I, I, I definitely think it's a very, very cool car. And yeah, it's based on an actual Le Mans car. And I did see someone say that, you know, it's a shame that this was their perfect opportunity to put a... Uh, to put the E-Type in touring car... But instead, they went and uh, went and just put it in uh, street as well. Which the thing is, if it was in touring car, it would be even more unusable. You know, it's a shame. I think it would be nice to have a Jag in tour. Oh, what was that? It would be nice to have a Jag in touring car, and it would be nice if that Jag was this Jag. You know, especially with how it looks. It's a Le Mans car. It would make sense in touring car. But what are you going to do? On to the next race. You know what? As far as the, the, the stories go, it's an addition vehicle instead of the 550, which was a, uh, you know, a based model. It, it, was, a, it was 550 based. But yeah, it was a, it was a base model uh, 550. But instead, you know, this one's a, a, an upgraded Jaguar E-Type. So, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm curious as to what we get next. I'm, I'm curious to see... What we end up getting next, whether it's uh, whether it's more of these addition type vehicles or whether it's, you know, the kind of vehicles that are actually, you know, a base model. Because it's an interesting thing because you don't have a single 550 in this game if you don't have the one from the stories, which you have to work to get. But you can just buy a Jaguar E-Type, you know, so it's which do people prefer? Would you want more new models? that are locked behind the grind wall of the stories? Or would you rather these addition vehicles... What the... Ow! Or would you rather these addition vehicles that do unique things with cars, especially this update? Like, we've had that Mustang with the, 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 the eye makeup and the wide body. We had the Demon with the entire back ripped off, the interesting spoiler, and the uh, lizard eyes, the splatter Porsche. And we don't talk about the gold edition, no, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry, the gold nugget. The gold edition, on the other hand, that comes out uh, in a summit or two, which is, of course, a rerun. Okay, I'm trying to... I'm stuck in slow traffic here. I'm on ace as well. There... Okay, Jesus, they break quick. I thought I was flinging by. I thought I was going to plow into something. Jesus. Okay, this thing really doesn't hurt. Right, this thing ready. really just, just doesn't turn. <laughs> I need some settings for this thing, honestly. It's nice having the dynamic shockwave, though. It always makes the cars feel a lot quicker. I love that smoke, honestly. One of the best smokes they've ever added in the game. The US, okay, the USB to a West was kind of cool for that. 
Honestly, USB to as an update was pretty cool. Here we go, boys. We're at the end of uh, the, okay, the mess around with the Jaguar E-Type. So here we go. Decent. You know what? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It took me a while to customize it. I have used it before customizing it. But it's pretty fun, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to see what we get next from the stories. Because this thing is pretty damn sick. You know, it's pretty damn sick. So, that's going to be about it for me. Thank you so much for watching, boys. Uh, I will see you lot in the next video, which probably won't be tomorrow, because LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga comes out. So, I'm going to be basically declared missing. Because I'm going to be sinking so much time into that game. But, I'll, I'll probably stream it on Twitch, you know. Uh, so that's going to be about from me. I hope you boys did enjoy this video because I enjoyed making it. Thank you to popular members. A special thank you to famous members. And an insane, insane thank you to Icon member for uh, Dustin. Thank you to Dustin. Alright. That's about from me in a...